I'm John Bowden. This is our third interview with Joe Williams, Joseph Williams of Toto. And this time around, I thought we'd ask some different questions. A lot of fan questions, but a lot that will help you get to know him a little bit better. This time we asked him, believe it or not, if he resonated with the guy on the back cover of the seventh one, his old self. This is Rock History Music. Dennis Intended is the newest Joseph Williams album. If you want to pick it up, there'll be links in the description of this video. And links to all the Toto stuff, all the summer dates for Toto, links to Steve Lukather, pre-ordering David Page's album, and a lot more. Also, I want to let you know that, as you know, on this channel, we put out our videos in little chunks. But if you want to see the whole thing, it's on our sister channel, Rock History Book. The whole thing should be on either later tonight or early tomorrow morning. So in this clip, we pick up the seventh one, and I asked Joseph Williams about his old self. Uh, when I was looking, you know, there's this thing you do, you know, we all did this when we're young. We all kind of look, we're looking at the guys. You know, right. Looking in the back of this, uh, who was that guy? To you, when you look at him. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a weird question, but I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. I mean, to you, who was, who was that, that guy? Who was that guy? Um, that guy was, you know, trying real hard at that point. Um, uh, I, you know, if you look at the picture, it's, it's funny, funny, because I remember that. I remember that uh, that photo session that we did. And and not every it, that the picture is great, uh, great, because it really does sort of show the mood that the mood that was in the room. Really? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's that's what I see when I look at that. Well, I, I I recall that 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 particular photo session, and everybody was a little a little sort of grumpy as I remember it. <laughs> so uh, how you been? What how's the how's uh, how's the touring been? You enjoying yourself? Everyone's telling me the same thing. The guy sounds better now than he ever sounded. Um. Well, you know, I I, I don't I don't really. I mean, listen, I had worked with a teacher, uh, uh you know, back in 2010, 2011. 2012 that, that it made a huge difference um i'm just not seeing as as hard as i as i used to which you know explains some of that but um uh listen I, I, i'm happy to hear the compliment that people think that i sound okay still <laughs> you were you had told me before that there's a part i mean when you have a vocal teacher the thing is when you're in your 20s even if you come from the biz where you came from I mean, your father's not a singer, as far as I know. I mean, I know what he's done. But even when you come from that, isn't there... I mean, I was talking to Dan McCafferty about this from Nazareth. You know, here with the dog. He's saying, gritty. And he had told me, he said, well, no one told me not to sing like that. That's just how I, I thought I sounded better singing like that. Right. No, that's true. I mean, you know, and, and everybody's anatomy is a little bit different. And so, you know, there are some singers who can do, have a growly sound and it, and it suits them and it doesn't hurt them, you know, as much. And, um, and you know, everybody's anatomy is, is a little bit different. Uh, I, I sing, I think I sing the way I do because of guys like Bobby Kimball and, and, and wanting to achieve that, that full, loud, forte trumpet sound. You know, of, of a high lead vocal. I, I always loved that sound when I was when I was coming up. So the tour continues real soon. What do you do in between tours? You just just schlep. You're right. What do you do? It's it's you know it's a little bit different every time, but uh, uh, usually when I come back from a tour because uh, um, you know I get such a charge out of out of performing live and doing these these concerts and we had a great run with Journey in the in the u.s which was a lot of fun and and the audiences were incredible and and uh so when we when i come home from a tour so sometimes it takes me a little bit to just sort of get back into into things and l luckily we're coming back out so uh but other times i will come back from you know from the road and and have a lot of things that need to get done or i'm something that i really want to do or I'm, if i'm in the middle of a project or something were you like Arne you and Arnell just uh, trading uh, lead vocal uh, uh, notes back and forth? Uh? No, we didn't have a chance to actually get on stage, but but he's amazing. I mean, uh, he's what an amazing sounding voice. That's, an that's another guy who sings sings with a, you know, with, in a, in a way that that uh, um, I think would would be you know harmful, but it sounds so great and it suits him and it doesn't hurt him at all. Well, he did a similar thing to you where you're following up singers that have 
you know, or become uh, like a, a big brand within a band. I mean, Bobby, not as much. Steve, very much so. In, 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 and not to in any fault of his, but uh, that's, it's a difficult thing. I mean, when you join, I mean, I know Fergie was there first, but were you nervous? But I mean, you knew the guys already. I knew the guys already, but yes, I was, I was horribly nervous. Um, the good news is that when we went out on the tour, the first tour that I did with them, uh, I, I took to it. It's, I, I really had, I always had a great time on stage and, and for, for a while there in the beginning, we, we all had a great time on those tours and, uh, you know, got over the nerves a little bit by, by the seventh one, you know, the, the follow-up record to the first one I did with them. Um, but yeah, I was nervous about it for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, he, listen for Bobby, of course, and Fergie as well, or both very hard acts to, fo to follow. Remember, there'll be links to all things total in the description of this video. There'll also be links to the entire interview with Joseph Williams, which will be either up tonight or early tomorrow morning. We'll have another clip with Joe Williams in three, four days. Make sure you comment on our videos. We say this, but spread the word. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. Share our videos on the Toto groups or on the classic rock groups or any groups you're in, on your Facebook page, on your Twitter. Help us spread the word. Comment on our videos. Subscribe to that channel and buy a t-shirt. Links in the description. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music.